So, Newton's law of universal gravitation is as follows. The gravitational force is equal to the mass of the first object times the mass of the second object. Now, we'll divide by distance, because increasing the distance tends to decrease the effect of gravity. So the equation is divided by the squared distance between the objects. And finally, it is multiplied by a constant value known as big G, which is the universal constant of gravitation. Big G is, as far as we know, a fundamental value of our universe. As for the direction of the force, the force on both of the objects, the Earth and the asteroid in our example, point toward the other object due to their mutual attraction. Note that the force on both of the objects is equal in magnitude, though it points in the opposite direction. So, what does big G equal in our equation? It turns out from experimental observations that big G is equal to 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 newton meters squared over kilograms squared. We now have the final form of Newton's law of universal gravitation, which describes two objects' mutual attraction due to gravity, and is dependent on only three parameters, each of the two objects' masses and the distance between the objects.